stages of gametogenesis in mammalian testis and ovary. Aim To study the discrete stages of gametogenesis in mammalian testis and ovary. Requirement Permanent slides containing transverse section of testis and ovary and a compound microscope. Procedure Place the permanent slide on the stage of the compound microscope and observe the slide first under lower magnification. Observe various stages of gamete development through the lens of compound microscope. This is the microscopic view of mammalian testis and ovary. Let's first study on transverse section of testis. The testis are covered by dense fibrous fibers known as tunica albuginea. It is a capsule of thick connective tissue which encloses a matrix or interstitium. Interstitium encloses numerous minute microscopic structural and functional tubules called seminiferous tubules. Interstitium is the region outside the seminiferous tubules, also called interstitial spaces, which contain small blood vessels and interstitial cells or Leydig cells. Each seminiferous tubule is linked by a special kind of epithelium called germinal epithelium. Germinal epithelium is made of primordial germ cells. Also, the seminiferous tubule is lined in its inside by two types of cells called spermatogonia and Sertoli cells. The Sertoli cells are found between the spermatogonial cells and provide nutrition to these germ cells. The spermatogonia or male germ cells multiply by mitotic division and form primary spermatocytes. Each spermatogonium is diploid and contains 46 chromosomes. The primary spermatocytes periodically undergo meiosis and later complete the first meiotic division leading to formation of two equal haploid cells called secondary spermatocytes which have only 23 chromosomes each. The secondary spermatocytes undergo the second meiotic division to produce four equal haploid spermatids. The process of differentiation of a spermatogonium into a spermatid is known as spermatogenesis. The spermatids are later transformed into spermatozoa or sperms by the process called spermiogenesis. Transverse section of ovary The entire ovary is covered by a capsule which is made up of a cuboidal epithelial cells called the germinal epithelium. On the inside of the ovary or next to germinal epithelium, it has a thick layer of fibrous tissue called tunica albuginea. These epithelial layers enclose the ovarian stroma. The stroma is divided into two zones. They are peripheral cortex and an inner medulla. The medulla basically has all the blood vessels, nerves and the lymphatics of the ovary and the cortex consists of numerous ovarian follicles which are spherical or oval bodies. The major functions of the mammalian ovary are the production of germ cells or oocytes. The germ cells or oocytes, which are commonly known as primary oocytes, begin to divide and then get surrounded by a layer of granulosa cells called as the primary follicle. These primary follicles get surrounded by more layers of granulosa cells and are called secondary follicles. The secondary follicle soon develops into a tertiary follicle which is characterized by a fluid-filled cavity called antrum. The tertiary follicle further changes into the mature follicle or graphene follicle. The graphene follicle ruptures to release the secondary oocyte or ovum from the ovary by the process called ovulation. After the ovulation, 
the ruptured graphene follicle is transformed into a yellow color endocrine structure called as corpus luteum which secretes progesterone if the fertilization fails to occur the corpus luteum degenerates into white color body called as corpus albicans